Hello, so this is a video response to the um, uh, forum thread uh, where you put proposed answers to review questions um, because uh, video because it's hard to draw uh, pictures and matrices and I'm wanting to cover the, uh, the Markov chain question. So in, in answering this, uh, we're looking at this matrix here and um, the check that shows that this would be a valid state transition matrix is that the rows sum to one. Um, they should each sum to one. They represent state transitions from a state I to state J. Um, so they should all uniquely sum to one because of what you'd call conservation of mass. So, if we wanted to draw a um, state diagram that corresponded to this matrix M, what you can do is, um, since there's four rows, there'll be four um, unique states. And for each state, um, we just say, choose a row. Uh, so I'll say first state is A, B, then C, then D. So A, B, C, D. And so the probability of transiting from A to A is zero. So um, I could draw a loop here, but I, I didn't. Uh, the probability of transiting from A to B is 50%. Um, the probability of transiting from A to C is 0.4, 40%. And 10% transiting from A to D. And so you just walk down the rows like this. Uh, if you're in column, if you're in row D, then the probability from transiting from D to A would be 0 0.25 and D to D would be 0. So nothing there. C, for instance, has a 0.2% chance of re-entering state C um, after one iteration. So, how do we operate on, on this? We're given this initial state. Uh, what we do is we take this, this state transition matrix and we take its transpose. So we've got uh, the state transition matrix. We take the transpose of that matrix and then for a given state um, x of i, we transit to the next state by multiplying the transpose of the state transition matrix by that state. And what we get out is the next state. And this process can keep continuing. We, we could take um, this state and multiply on the left by this transpose. Or equivalently, we could just keep um, taking powers of the transpose if we want, wanted um, sort of a known um, step um, state. So that would be the way to operate. In this case, we have the the i state is um, going to just pick out the second column um, of the transpose, and so it does. So one multiplication of the transpose of the transition matrix times a state gives you the next state. 